Hey everyone, this is Catherine from Ellie Web Dev. Today is October 30th, 2022. Elementor on a Sunday has released Elementor 3.8 free and pro. So let's take a look at the free features first. Here is the change log for 3.8. We have some new features, we have some things that have been tweaked, and we have things that have been fixed. So I'm gonna go through just a few of these. Tweak, added more size units to sign, size and spacing controls, icon and icon box widgets. Let's take a look at that. In Elementor 7, I have dropped a icon widget on the page and if we notice right over here in the size, there are no other sizes. It is assumed in pixels. And if I switch over to Elementor 3.8 and we're looking at the icon widget and we go over here to size, we have now pixels, percentages, M's and RIMs. So that is what's added in Elementor 3.8 for the edit icon. And if I come up here and drag and drop an icon box, if I go to style, again, we have size and spacing, pixels and M's and rims. By adding an image box widget, if we go to style, spacing has pixels, percentages, M's and RIMs. If we go to the image box widget in 3.7 and go to style, you'll notice in spacing, there is no other spacing size. It is assumed in pixels. Tweak added labels to font weight numeric values. Let's take a look at that. If I come in and add a heading widget and I go to style and I go to topography, right down here with the weight. If we click on the weight, we get thin, we get the labels from black to thin. Normal, light, medium, semi-bold, and extra bold. Tweak, added text stroke to number in counter widget. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna add a counter widget to the page and go over to the style tab. And now you will see that there is a text stroke with a pencil. And if we click on the pencil, we can tell how many pixels the text stroke is going to be and what color. We can also add a text stroke to the title as well. The title has a text stroke that we can also add as well. When we give it a pixel dimension in order to make the size bigger so that you can see that and the weight so that you can see the text border on the title as well. This also works with the divider widget. The divider widget when adding text, if we go to style and go to the text, we now have a text stroke for the text in the divider widget. Again, we'll probably have to make the weight of the font bolder and also make the text bigger when adding the text stroke to it. We need to make that bigger and give it a pixel size. So now we have the option to add text strokes to several widgets. And now for the Elementor Pro feature in Elementor 3.8, the
the feature that everyone has been waiting for, the custom loop. In order to use the custom loop in Elementor 3.8, two things must be activated in order for it to work. First, you must activate the Flexbox container. Second, you must activate the loop. So let me show you how that's done. In the back end of Elementor, we need to go to Elementor Settings. Elementor Settings. And here in the ongoing experiments, we need to scroll down and set active to the Flexbox container. We also need to come down and set loop to active. Once you set those to active, come down to the bottom of the page and save your changes. Once you have the Flexbox container and the loop activated in the settings, you will notice now in the Pro feature, there is the loop grid. So let's add the loop grid to a container. Since we have not created a template yet, we can use Create Template here to start our template of what we want our loop to look like. Here we have the option to drag a widget. So I will grab the featured image and drop that in. And I will then grab the title, post title widget. And I will grab the content. And I'm going to change the color of the title. Actually, I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to background. And I'm going to say that the background of the text is going to be, is going to be white with a 50% opacity. And I'm going to go to advanced to the layout and I'm going to give padding uh, top and bottom. Let's see, I will make sure that the post title is centered. I will come back to the style and I'll make sure that the text color is black. And I'm going to come to the title and I'm going to negative margin the title. And I'm just going to put, make it 80. And that's what I want my blog post to look like. So I'm going to hit update. And I'm going to save and go back. So we have this yellow save and go back. And when we go back, we are now able to see the loop customized to the way we want it. We have our post title in that has a background and it's on top of the image and it continues to loop through. So it's really that easy. And those are some of the highlighted features of Elementor 3.8. Please follow and like this video because I will be giving more features and more highlights to the custom loop in the future.